Hello, what's up and what's happening? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. And today we got number nine, Oregon, taking on Washington. As you can see, the rest of the schedule is pretty slim pickings, man. Arizona State, they are tw the number 22 team in the country. Then Oregon State, they are four and two. So you know what? We might be able to creep our way back up to the top of the heat but we will need some help y'all we would definitely need some help we can't do this on our own we're gonna need some teams in front of us to lose and of course we have to do our thing by winning out there goes his number so far in his career he a monster bro he a monster over 6,000 yards throwing over 1,800 running and he ain't done we still got some games to do and the honeys now now Marcus I'm gonna need you to be careful because lately the ladies on the wall have been pretty attractive but that one I don't know if that's the kind of girl you bring home to mama, I'm just saying. You you saw the pitch. I'm I, let's get to the action, huh? Kent, he's gonna take that one up to the 25 yard line and let's go. First play of the game though is a sack. Is that really the first play of the game? That always got to me. Like, isn't the kick off the first play of the game? Anyways, man, the first play of the possession, we get sacked. We get back to the the original line of scrimmage, and now we're throwing a prayer that was answered. Sometimes Marcus is so good that miracles do happen, and that's exactly what happened right there. Big time catch in between four Husky defenders. Now McKinney gonna take this thing to the outside, and McKinney is back from suspension, as you can see, picks up a gain of six. Now Marcus Mayer gonna get sacked from behind. Gray gets up in there. Look at the bull rush on the left tackle. Gray get too strong. Third down in 11. Marcus rolling out, stopping and popping, and that pass going to be intercepted by Baldwin. So now the Washington Huskies have a chance to take the lead for the first time today as they force a turnover. Over the middle, that pass is going to be incomplete. Second down and 10, they decide to run the ball, and that Oregon defense is all over it. Now from the 26, looking downfield, that pass is caught by Brown, breaks two tackles, gets loose into the secondary, chased down by Nicholson, and that's going to be a first down. Alexander, toss play, gets balled up but gets free, and he's able to pick up a gain of five ballers at the 50. Looking downfield, caught by Brown. That's a different Brown. His skin is brown. The other guy's skin was kind of milky, if you know what I mean. Anyways, though, that's going to be a first down. Ball is inside the 25 at the 23. They pass it again. Gets tipped. They pass it again. Gets tipped. And this time it's a tip and then a pick. And we got this thing going back the other way. Now, the ball was supposed to go low. That was how the pass was thrown. But it got tipped up into the air, right into the hands of the Oregon defender. And now we have a chance to do what it does. And that means get the lead for the first time beautiful move by McKinney and that's gonna lead for a first that's gonna lead to a first down now we got Kent wide up Kent I'm gonna need you to catch the football we're trying to get you a bullet in the car for war get with the program please Marcus Mayer on the speed option out of the single back set takes it himself and picks up a fresh set of 10 now from the 27 it's first down looking downfield is Marcus he's gonna check this one up top to the end zone nearly intercepted now it's gonna be second down and 10 they're gonna go with the carry to McKinney and McKinney picks up the first down, move those chains, ball is at the 16 yard line after a gain of 11. Speed option again, Marcus pitches that thing to McKinney, they're only going to pick up a couple, so second down from the 13. Rolling out is Marcus, going to get to the 10, going to head to the end zone and stop the yard short, but he did pick up a first down, so first and goal from the 1. And that run play will be stopped at the line of scrimmage. So second down to go, we get up in there, baby. One yard TD run, and just like that, Oregon is on top. The Ducks are for real, bro. We up by seven under some pressure. Letting that thing go. That's going to be caught by Turner. Breaks a tackle, and Turner going to turn on the Jets. Hurdles a man, and he is gone. Oh, that boy fast. Real fast. Nice play. Nice design. Perfect execution. And now we have a tied ball game. But when you let Marcus get the ball back in his hands, good things happen for us. Bad things happen for them. Them being the Huskies. Looking downfield, Hines with a beautiful diving catch. And we are right back in the Husky territory. And now we are looking at a first and 10 empty backfield. Mayor going to roll to the left side. Sets his feet, fires over the middle. Caught by Morgan. And now we are inside the 25 down at the 18. Mayor under some pressure. There goes that boy Gray again. 
Rocket number seven looking like a cheap clowny, but it's okay because he is causing havoc in the backfield. McKinney picks up a solid little game, making it third down and long still. Though Mayor rolls out, sets his feet, fires, and that's going to be broken up. And now they have to try for a field goal. The kick is out. There's enough leg, but not enough accuracy. And now it is going to remain a 7-7 ball game. Now, I believe Washington is a one-win team. And they're supposed to be going down this way, bro. Like I said, it's a rough start. But there's still time for us to play some defense. Get this ball back. Back-to-back -back bat downs as well, I like to see. So on third down and 10, that pass is caught. Church making plays. So on third down, they pick up a first down. Now going with the halfback pass. It's not caught. The quarterback, yo, this ain't Philadelphia, and that ain't no Philly special. Okay, please don't try that again. We take over because it's a backward pass, a.k.a. a fumble. So now the Ducks. We got this thing going back the other way. Second down and 10. Letting that thing fly. Wonderful catch by Kent. Just couldn't get a foot in bounds. So from the 31, third down and 10. Single back look. Mayor the under pressure rolls out. Has a chance to use his feet, and he used those feet well. Move those chains. First down, gain of 15 from the 16 now. Rolling out to the left side is Marcus. He decides to tuck it and run again. Get off of me, he says to the defender as he picks up a gain of five. Second down and five. We're going to give the ball to Kent on the little end around. Runs one man over. Takes a pretty vicious hit. Picks up two. Third down and three. Let Kent do what he does best. Catch the football over the middle. Nine-yard TD pass, and just like that, we're back up by seven. Hopefully, the rough start is over. All right, hopefully, it's done with. Hopefully, we can start rolling that. Second down and 10. Looking downfield and getting smacked. That's what I like to see. Second down, a third down and 18. Now, after the eight-yard loss, they're going to run the ball. But we're going to call a timeout. We know what this offense can do. <laughs> do you? McKinney makes one man miss, and he too fast. He got get away from the cop speed. I had to do it to you. And now it's going to be a 21-7 ball game going in the half time. Look at that, man. That's what I like to see. But Huskies, they got some heart from what I heard. But that should have been a pick right there. They done played me. Me and Nicholson should have had a Yahoo. It's Zay Hurt. Very nice play. First down to 10. Nicholson, give me that Yahoo. It's Zay Hurt. I said, give me that Yahoo. Give me that user interception. Got this thing on back the other way. Don't you dare test me twice. Don't do it. I don't do it. You get away once, get away clean, and don't come back. You came back? Yeah. And that duck was on attack. I'm sorry. That was corny. Going up top, Kent. Another wonderful catch, but couldn't get a foot in bounds. Now we're going to run the speed option, McKinney. He's going to get past the line of scrimmage just barely. Third down and eight from the 14. Mariota, under pressure, still running for his life. Going to stop, pop to the end zone, caught by McLaughlin. Touchdown, Ducks. Check out the replay. He broke that tackle. Gray, get on your face. Stops, throws an absolute strike to McLaughlin in the end zone. The Ducks are hot. Big hit. Brooks, you a monster, bruh. You forced to fumble and you recover it. I said you forced to fumble and you recover it. And he just a freshman. He just a freshman. Oh my goodness. Look, dang. So now we give the ball to McKinney on first, then 10, and McKinney picks up six. Second down to four from the 28. Rolling out is Marcus. Tucking it and running is Marcus. Inside the 10 is Marcus. Breaking the tackle and stepping out of bounds is Marcus at the eight yard line. First and go. Give me those. My boy Kent in the end zone. Touch down. Ducks. 35 to 7. I said it's 35 to 7. We out here beasting. And we feast them, but here comes those dogs, boy. Those Washington Huskies ain't giving up. Alexander gets the carry, getting to work his way upfield. It took a couple of attempts, but we finally got him down after a three-yard pickup. This one's going to be caught by Brown, gets brought down by Beck, third down and five. Looking downfield, letting that thing fly, and that's going to be incomplete. Fourth and five, they're going to go with the direct snap, and they get it, though. Alexander, I see you move those chains for those Huskies from the 33-yard line. Play fake. Looking downfield, but he ain't going to get that one off. That's a sack, baby. I said that's a sack, baby. Get off the field. Okay, don't, don't go off the field just yet. Because on the very next play, it's a touchdown. 
I was hoping they would get off the field, but they didn't do it. So now it's 35 to 14. I'm like, you throw the ball deep. I can throw the ball deep too. <laughs> right to your defender. Baldwin has another pick. That's pick number two in the game for him. First and 10 from the 26. Under some pressure, give me that user sack. My boy Nicholson having himself a ball game, having himself a season. That pass is going to fall incomplete. No, no, no. You can't do that, son. You can't do that. Taking another shot up top. This time it's a perfect pass, perfect timing. Lucas got too much speed, and that's going to be a touchdown. Okay. Okay. 35-21. We will get the ball back. We will go three and out. They got the ball right back now. And now they're going to try to march down the field, score a touchdown, get the onside kick, and try to tie this thing up and go to overtime and have one of the biggest upsets in Washington history. But we can allow that. That's going to be caught, and that's going to be a first down. So from the 50, looking downfield, that pass is caught. And after the 13-yard gain, they are in our territory. Looking downfield, that's going to be caught in church. Takes it to the crib. 35-27. Plus the PAT is 28 to 35. They can go for the onside kick. I wasn't paying attention. We didn't even line up in the right formation, but we still got it done. It was ugly, especially in the beginning. It was kind of rough. But a win is a win. Last time I checked. So Marcus Mariota, he struggled a little bit. 7 of 15 with three TDs, two interceptions, 117 yards, one of his lowest yardage outputs of the season only 62 yards on the ground as well but you know what like i said a win is a win not his best heisman performance but you know what we still have a couple more games left especially against number 22 arizona state in the civil war versus oregon state and we need the ball out there because we might not get a national championship but we might get a pretty nice bowl game and we might be able to get marcus heisman number two i said heisman number two but that's going to do it, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope the rest of your day is the best of your day. Y'all stay safe out there. Peace, love. Hi, sauce.